Good to see you, Suzanne. It's, you know, it's great to see you, Fred, and I, I really I have to thank you. I have to thank CNN because we, we are grateful as a family that we were able to do a three-part series last year on ALS before it became popular. I mean, this is something that two and a half years ago when my mom was diagnosed with mm -hmm. this disease, I didn't even know what it was. And now people come up to us, they come up to my mom, they oh. ask, how can we help, what can we do, and they are learning about uh, what this means for so many of us who are directly impacted. Aw, oh, and you know, you, you have really help educate so many people about it. And along the way, especially with this ice bucket challenge, it has been a plight that you've talked about for you, for your mom, but really your whole family. And so we wanna show how your whole family got involved in this ice bucket challenge. <laughs> we accept. Yeah! yeah! My mom was diagnosed with ALS two and a half years ago, and she is still in the fight. If you'd like more information about our story, please go to malvomission.org. We also are challenging today Wanda Sykes, Angie Harmon, as well as CNN being the leader of ALS awareness, my boss, Jeff Zucker. Are you guys ready? Oh, that's great. All in the family there. So give us an idea of what, you know, how, A, how was your mom doing? And, uh, you know, what, what has it been like for your family, you know, especially as of recently? Sure, sure, Fred. I mean, I, I want to thank my niece, Nayila, for bringing us all together. That was a difficult thing to get us all together. And I do want you to know that all three of the people we challenged did accept. They say they're going to do it. We tweeted out Wanda Sykes and Angie Harmon. So that was great, bringing a lot of awareness here. Um, you know, you saw last year, Fred, it has been a, a real challenge for my mother. Uh, she loved to dance, very social, always very active. Um, this was fast moving and hard hitting. Uh, she now has 24 hour uh, care, a great d uh, team of caregivers and my father and my sister who have been uh, taking good care of her. And this disease has uh, robbed her of, of almost all of her physical abilities. She still has the feelings and the emotions inside. So when her friends and when we come around and we spend time with her, she says with her eyes, with her eyes, mm. uh, she says, I, I, I love that you're here. I love you. Uh, this is a good thing for us to all be together. But you can imagine how difficult that would be for someone. Mm. And these are beautiful pictures but there's more we want to share with people kind of you know rejigger their memories because I, I know a lot of people took notice from the pieces that the three-part you know series that you did so here's a little bit of one of them your mother was in the end stage of ALS she would have moved into a coma and she would have died within a few days instead mom chose an extraordinary life-saving measure to get a tracheotomy a tube hooked to a machine that would force air into her lungs and breathe for her. A game changer. It would be nine <laughs> weeks in the hospital learning how to care for her before Dad. mom would be able to come Dad. home on life support. Breaking out, getting out of here. All right, Miss Mama, good Bye. luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Her journey is bringing us closer together and changing us as a family. I learned I have inner strength I didn't think I had. Mom's message to all of us. Mm, it's brought your family closer together. And then, oh, by the way, folks may have noticed they haven't seen you in a little bit. So your family has grown. You're now a mother yourself with the new addition, <laughs> Soleil. How has that kind of, you know, brightened your mom's eyes, too? You know, I, it's it's so wonderful, Fred. I'm so glad you asked me about that because she's a new great, she's a grandmother all over again. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Aww. they spend so much time together, just uh, mesmerized by each other. You know, they sit together and they watch and she brings a new life, a new energy into, into our our family which is really very welcomed um, you know I, I wanted to, to emphasize again you know this is something where over the last two mm -hmm. two and a half years she's lost her ability to speak to eat uh, to breathe and, and move on her own and so uh, when you have something that that gives you kind of that energy and a boost it it's so welcomed it's something that we really needed and uh, it's good to be back, Fred. It's good to see Aww. you as well. And, and for all of those who are, you know, supporting uh, ALS, it really, you know, it doesn't matter where you contribute. If it's MDA, the ALS Association, mm -hmm. uh, we, we decided to do Packard to support research. But as long as people are talking about this, paying attention to this, it really does give some hope to my mom and many others who have been uh, personally impacted. 